Hello friends, Dapper Drabby here, and we are back, and we're gonna go ahead and do that deck deck I promised. As I said, we went ahead and bought Glaceon GX from Lollipop Kids, so we're gonna go ahead and show off a deck with Glaceon GX. So, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start the game, um, you know, I guess 30 seconds in, and, uh, Yep, maybe not. Maybe not. It decided to not work for me. Is it working? Is it recording? I don't know. Alright, it's recording. And it's going. Okay, good. So, now I know where it started. I can figure out how to do all the masks and stuff. So, what are we playing? We are playing the Glaceon GX. See, I have the perfect copy. This up there. It's more shiny up there, though. Um, and I will go ahead and shout out Lollipop Squad for sure. You can do that hashtag down there. If you guys know them and love them, go ahead and leave that hashtag. I'll let them know that I'm shouting them out in this video, I guess. So, what are we doing? We're going to go ahead and do a budget Glaceon here. Um, with that freezing gaze, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX in play in their hand and in their discard pile have no abilities except for freezing gaze so that's a long ability but it prevents the abilities of you know zorak gx prevents this is a really hard zorak counter we it prevents tapu lele it prevents volcanion it prevents decidueye it prevents Silvalli. Dawnwing's Necrozma, uh, <laughs> Necrozma, not that that really matters, but, uh, yeah, it prevents EX and GX's abilities. I don't know any other EXs that have abilities. It prevents Shaman. So I'm expanded, it prevents Shaman. It's not bad. Not bad at all. So that's what Glaceon GX does. It's 200 HP, also does Frostbolt, which does 90 damage and then 30 to the bench. Um... Which is not too hard. We, we play 7 water energies and some double colorless energy. So we should be able to pump this guy up pretty quickly. We also have Polar Spear GX. 50 damage times the amount of damage counters on the active Pokemon. So if they have 3 damage counters, that's 150. It's designed to do 180. Um, like that. So it's kind of cool. Uh, this is the only GX attack we... No, it's not the only GX attack we have, but... We'll go over the other one in a sec. So we are playing uh, Energy Evolution uh, EV. That way we get a Water Energy first turn. We can start that Freezing Gaze lock. And uh, let me just give myself a little bit more light here so I'm not like so blinded out, I guess. Although I guess I'm more blinded. I don't know. I don't know. Is that better now? Is that better now? Uh, is that better now? That looks... Okay. Yeah, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out the lighting, sorry. Energy Evolution, when you attach a basic energy from your hand to this Pokemon, you may search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon that is the same type as the energy card you put there. So, you put a Water-type energy, you evolve into Glaceon. If you had Grass, you could do Leafeon. If you have Dark, you could do Umbreon, Psychic Espeon, um, and Fairy Sylveon. This even works with those uh, ones from Ancient Origins, but since that's expanded, you we're not really going to play that. Um, and expanded though, this is pretty nice because you can do the rough seas. Uh, but we play three Glaceon, like I said, and we went over what it does already. We are also pairing it with that adorable Igloo Shrew, the Alolan Sand Shrew. It does Fury Swipes for a free attack, attacks for no energy. Now this one makes me want to bring up a point that I believe the way I built this, it could work with what it works with is a no energy attacker. So you could also work it, we pair it well with the Alolan Raticate, I believe, that it does 30 more damage if you attach a tool to it. So, I mean, that's kind of the idea I'm going with because we are playing Spike Armor, Alolan Sand Slash. This is our main attack that we do other than Glaceon, and that is during your opponent's next turn. If this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, it does 6 damage to the attacking Pokemon. So what we're trying to pair it up with is we're pairing it up with some Bursting Balloons or a Choice Band. That way 
if we paired over the choice band, we're doing 60. They knock us out and get 60, so we did 120, and they got one prize out of it, which is not bad. Um, and with the idea with the bursting balloon, which sometimes works better, sometimes doesn't work at all, they take another six damage counters. So if they attack Alolan Sand Slash with that bursting balloon on, they are taking 120 damage plus the 30, which is 150 damage, which is pretty sweet for a no energy attacker. So we're playing two of these since we have two of them. And we're pairing it up also with these Guardians Rising. Slush Rush 1, draw a card before your attack. Um, it doesn't help super mu a lot. It doesn't help a bunch. I love this art though. Uh, but it does help occasionally uh, get the just, just get some dead cards out of the top of your deck so you draw the right cards. I also up the supporter count from what I was playing and that should help a little bit with the consistency. I know I was playing this once and doing well. And then I just drew Glaceon, Glaceon, and bricked and lost. And I was like, that's ridiculous. Um, we are also playing one Tapu Fini GX for that Tapu Storm GX. If we have something that's really set up, we don't know how we're going to take care of it. We just Tapu Fini, Tapu Storm, and put it back into the deck so that they cannot play it. Um, Tydra Shot's not a bad deal either. If we get late in the game, we need, something, need to knock out something at the end. Hydra Shot can help with that. Um, we we're playing two Aqua Patches. This is for specifically for energy denial. When our opponents get rid of all of our energy, uh, we can still attack with Glaceon that turn. We just Aqua Patch, uh, f attach a DCE, and then switch it to the active, and then they can Polar Spear again. So that's the point with Aqua Patch. Uh, many people will actually play four Aqua Patches, four Max Elixirs, and all their Glaceon deck because Glaceon is relatively slow. It's just, it's a deck that slows down the play, which is can sometimes be good, sometimes cannot be good. Um, we also have two Field Blowers, just because we don't want people, we don't want them to one shot our Glaceon. So we're trying to find ways, you know, for healing and for how to give it more HP and how to prevent damage from our opponent. So we take out their choice bands. We don't want to give them that extra 30 damage just because. Um, and stuff like that. Oops, there it goes, bumping the camera. Uh, that's why we have to play two Field Blower. We're not too worried about Garbodor. The only ability we have is Freezing Gaze. So if they shut off that ability, all the abilities Freezing Gaze shuts off is shut off as well. So we're not too worried about uh, Garbodor. We're actually happy to see them have a Garbodor. We just don't like Float Stones. We also play uh, Pal Pad. This is to try to up our draw support count. If we end up spending two or throwing away one, we can get it back mid-game and play it again. We play one Rescue Stretcher. I had to show off the pretty one. I had a couple other pretty cards in here, but took them out because they just weren't useful. Um, Rescue Stretcher in case we, you know, prize. This is mostly in case we prize. In case we prize, you know... We only play two of the Spike Armor Alolan Sand Slash, so if we prize one of them or two of them, I mean, actually, if we only prize one, if we prize one of them, it gets knocked out. We can bring it back to our hand and play it again as that backup attacker to Glaceon. And I'm still trying to play with Glaceon. Glaceon actually has quite a few partners you can play with. I was reading some articles about it earlier. Play four Ultra Ball. This would be great if this was Dive Ball. To be honest. Because the discarding cards, unless it's a water energy, you're you're detrimenting, you're being detrimental to yourself, and that makes it kind of difficult uh, to get the right cards when you need them. Like there's so many times when I run out of cards because I don't have the proper draw support. Uh, play four Cynthia maxing that out because we do want to keep all of our resources, so we're playing four Cynthia maxing it out. Playing one Cyrus. This is an interesting portion of this thing, where we take two of our opponent's bench Pokemon and shuffle them and all the cards into their deck. Which, is, unfortunately, I think they choose, yeah, they choose two bench Pokemon. So it's not like, oh, I see you have a Zoroark and a, uh, a Zoroark on the bench. Let me just put those back in your deck. Uh, unfortunately, it's not that powerful. But it's still pretty good. Um, I think I like it in the Glaceon list anyways. Um, even if you play, like, Glaceon, Sylveon, this card is pretty cool. Because it's like having a double Sylveon. Uh, so pretty cool. I like Cyrus in here. We're playing four Guzma, maxing it out. This is kind of, we're playing this more like Stolly. We don't want them, if they attack, we want them to attack into Sand Slash. If they, uh, we don't want them to get those big one-hit KOs on Glaceon. 
That way we do a little bit of prize denial, a little bit of uh, just bumping that damage up. The bit scariest thing I've ran into so far while playing this is uh, a Lycanroc with like three strong energies on it because it can just like boom one shot you. And I was able to work around to be able to get enough damage on it with Sand Slash to be able to take it out with Glaceon. And then um, they came back with the Danger Shrug. And I barely survived, and I used the GX attack to take the other one out. So it was, like, really good. Like, yes, I got through it. Um, so we play four Guzmas, so we can pick off the bench with exactly what we want to take out or stall there. Um, we play one Lana. This is kind of the secret attack. Heal 50 damage from each of your Pokemon has a water energy attached to it. This is when Glaceon gets damaged pretty heavily. We already have another Glaceon that got damaged pretty heavily. I've actually been able to heal... 50 damage off three different Glaceons before, which was pretty sweet. Um, I like Lana for that reason alone. Heals anything with a water energy on it, which is pretty good, especially against spread decks. You don't want to deal with spread decks without having a Lana. We upped our count of N to 4. I think I was going to make it 3. It was 2, I made it 3, and then actually I decided to make it 4 because, like I said, we don't really want to discard a lot of our resources here. We want to reutilize everything we got. So we have... Four are copies of N, th two copies of Professor Sycamore. Obviously, you know, we're basically we're playing um, four, four, and two. We're playing ten draw supporters and a pal pad to get some of those draw supporters back. We don't want to be drawing dead in this deck. So between those ten, I would say choose your supporters that best suit your style of play. Bodybuilding dumbbells. We were playing it's either three or four of these. It's three of these, okay. So three bodybuilding dumbbells. He uh, adds an extra 40 HP to all of our Pokemon except Tapu Fini. And this is so we have that 240 mark, which is a lot harder to hit than 200. So it's to make those 200 attacks into two hit KOs is basically what bodybuilding dumbbells is for. Um, unfortunately, if you hit 120 twice, though, you're, you're still knocking it out. But Zorak rarely does that, especially since he doesn't have a lot on his bench without the trade ability. Um, we also play our Bursting Balloons, if this will work. There we go, Bursting Balloons. We originally had four, but uh, we switched it to two and two, split between that and Choice Band. I still think I'd prefer Bursting Balloons over Choice Band because it does do more damage, but it only lasts for one turn before it goes away. But it's able to uh, add an extra um, 60 damage, 6 damage counters to the attacking Pokemon, which can be significant. Like I said, if you if you have a bursting, if they attack into a bursting balloon sand slash that just used uh, spike armor, they are taking 120 damage, which is half, um, and they can take 30 more because of the attack. So it it can be 150, and you do another 90, and there's 240. So like they're, they're, that's the idea behind it is that it can set up Glaceon perfectly for those big hit KOs against anything except for like Solgaleo Metagrosses, um, which are going to demolish us anyways because of the meta weakness and the massive damage. And we have two choice bands to finish it off in case, in case we were facing a GX and we just need that extra little damage. We need to hit it for like 120 with Glaceon instead of 90, stuff like that. Uh, choice band can help with uh, four DC, pretty standard, and seven water energy, or is it eight? It's seven. Uh, eight would be nice, uh, so that we have plenty of stuff to do. Um, and that is the deck tech. I will go ahead and put it down in the description below, as well as go ahead and uh, put Lolly's information down there as well. So let's go ahead and see though. I gotta resave this as Glaceon Sand Slash. Um, just put budget in here because it's R B B. It's Glaceon Sand Slash B. If you guys have a better nickname for that, like freezing, freezing spikes, spikes freeze. I don't know. Freezing spikes is probably a good name for it. So maybe that'll be the title. Like I did fight or flight last time, so this one will be freezing spikes. Our gaze into Lowland Sandshrew's eyes. It's adorable. 
Um, but it looks like we were playing that one last. We're going to go ahead and try to get these 50 coins. We're only going to do one match today. Um, tomorrow we may go back into this deck and try to play it on a tournament to see how it really, really pans out. If I lose first round, though, we'll probably just play a couple matches with it again. Um, but let's see. We're on a win streak of two playing this deck. So, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but thank you for facing us. I like the Cleopatra, I like head. I will go first. And they are playing fire, so we'll see what that's about. We won! We won! We won! No. I don't think it's going to be all the matches. But I, it does... It generally starts that way a bit sometimes. Some people do not want to play Glaceon at all. It's just a long match. Like I said, people, people want to climb the ladder quickly. So if you're playing Glaceon on the ladder, sometimes... Sometimes people just forfeit because they're like, I don't want to do this. So, like, the reason why we're even thinking about Glaceon is because we were able to pull two out of uh, Pokemon cards and buy one. And then on the uh, PTCGO, I actually had to trade out trade out my Secret Rare, Rare Candy to get a couple Glaceons, which sucked. I don't know how I'm going to get that back. It was, it was a bad trade on my part, and I just kind of went with it because I was like, I really want Glaceons, but... Eh, it was a bad idea. I should have kept the rare candy, but it happens. It's it's just a card game. You don't really need. You just need the card that have, have the name. You don't have to have it certain things on it. This sucks. I don't have a Glaceon set up, and I have no draw support either. This is gonna be a rough hand. Let's go ahead and throw the choice band down. What's that second attack? We'll put the we'll put the water on sand slash just so we attach a, a card, just so we attach an energy. Don't waste that energy attachment. Um, but this is definitely not a preferred hand. This is a pretty dead hand to begin with. But they are giving us a Brooklet Hill. We can get another Lowen Sand Sand Shrew, Sandy Shrew. Um, wow, my voice is very hoarse. I should have grabbed some water. But if I lose it, you guys know why. Let's go ahead. Let's go. I want to beat this Mew. <clears throat> but uh, kind of the strength of this deck is people don't even really know what Sand True does. Sand Slash does. Because it's never, it's not prevalent. Not, not many people play it. They did not like that turn, apparently. We were playing some fight guys, though, it looks like. Zygarde. Max Elixir Zygarde. We get the end, so the question is to play... Yeah, we'll just play the end, I think. So we do have four Eevees. We have all our Glaceons, and we have one of our uh, Sand Slashes prize. A second attack, Frost Breath, actually does 90 damage. Nice. Um, so what I might do is go ahead and set this up to attack and play an... I get everything. Alright, there's that. We will evolve next turn. And it's unfortunate I didn't get any sand slashes with all of those in there. So we're just going to furry swipe and see what happens. Hey, we got a heads. 10 damage. 10 damage done to the... To the... Meow. Uh, so... We got all of our sand slashes so far. We should probably get rid of that Brooklet Hill. We do not want them to set up on us. Fighting Fury Belt. Are they going to retreat the Mew and attack us? Most likely. They got the Buzz Hole out. Yeah, so we really got to get rid of that Brooklyn Hill. It is overpowered on their side of the field. And they end us. Thank you, thank you. I would love some more different cards. Now, I normally don't even put energy on a sand, Sandy Shrew, but... It's the way it worked this time, so I don't... We'll see. They got a parallel city us. Thank you. Um, we'll definitely get rid of a sand true. We have the uh, rescue stretcher to bring it back. Cool. They got rid of that one. Um, now we have no energy. 
So I think we're just going to go ahead and go in with the Energy Evolution EV here. Evolve straight into the Shiny Glaceon. Play the other EV. And I guess should we Bursting Balloon? I feel like Bursting Balloon. Yeah, I'll put these here. And then N or yeah, I'm gonna end right now. I know Sycamore is probably the better option. It's by far the better option. But this way we get rid of a couple of things here. Like uh the parallel city and the float stone. I'm not too worried about the Zygarde. Cause if he attacks into us, he's taking sixty damage. Those are the two two cards I'm not really happy about. And we can get that Sand Slash if we want it. The question is, do we want it? Oh, I could draw one more card with it. I like my hand the way it is, though. So I'm going to keep it right now and see what happens. Let's see what happens in this next turn. In this slow down deck. Um, they're playing Max Elixir. They're trying to get it up on their Mew or their Buzz Hole. Their Buzz Hole. They're like, I really don't want to deal with Mew. So they're happy about something. Maybe they got the uh, the last energy in the core enforcer. There's no way they got. They can take out the sand slash. Eevee? Oh, okay. That's fine with me. I guess I should have switched them around, but I don't know. I'm fine with that actually. Bursting balloon goes away. They don't have any abilities. I'm gonna go in with Sand Slash, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with Sand Slash. Maybe I should have went with the other one. But. Oh, good. He showed up on his own. He showed up on his own. I can heal. I'll wait on that. I can Guzma. Doesn't really help us. Cynthia, I guess, is what I'm going to choose. Ah, although I would love Lana next turn. The Pal Pad. We got the DCE. There we go. Ooh, Slush Rush as well. Drill an extra card. Aqua Patch. Uh, what do we have in here? Cynthia and Ends. So let's go ahead and get a Cynthia and an N back. In can be useful late game. Be able to take them down on their prizes. So the question here is to spike armor to do now nah, we have it with we have frost breath, so we might as well just frost breath. I wish I had a uh wish I had um a tool on him though. I was not able to draw a tool, unfortunately. But we can definitely aqua patch next turn. But we've knocked out we've knocked out a bunch. We've gotta get a rescue stretcher to get these three babies back because we need them to evolve into our our uh our Glaceon and our Sand Shrews. So I don't think I have a tech against this. If you guys really want to tech against this, I mean a Mew EX is kinda of the the primary, but then your Zygarde takes that out. So what are they doing? Do they have the energy count though? They don't. They do. Okay, so they're gonna try to take that out. Absorb some GX to take that out. So if I can get the energy this turn. Um, I'm kind of in a between a rock and a hard spot. Um, unfortunately, I mean, I did just get these two back. They already have uh, only two. It's end and get six and possibly brick our sycamore and see what happens because... Hi, uh, we're going to have to sycamore. We need to get that energy to knock out this buzz hole. Not that energy. Why did I say energy? We need to get that tool card. 
And that's not it either. Look at this. Evolutions. Why can't we play this right now? Ooh, we're stuck. Um, so we gonna have to rely on that um what does spike armor does spike armor does 90 gets him up to 180 so he's gonna take another knockout here um and we did not pull the cards we need so we're gonna lose this guys we're pro most likely going to lose this uh we didn't get to use the attacks we wanted to and didn't have the cards we needed uh to properly play this game um just kind of bricked i guess and then taking out our uh our pre-evolutions early kind of hurt us as well um so unfortunately we lost this game but i mean this is the mark of a budget deck i mean it can come out swinging but it also takes some hard losses when it doesn't have all the cards like you can't th this deck could be uh, it could be better with Lele, but I liked the cards I had, so I didn't really want to pull Lele. Um, if you put Lele in, you could, uh, drop a few supporters is really the difference. Because you just, you play Lele instead of the supporters. And all this extra energy would end up on Lele. But, uh, I mean, the problem here is I didn't get to set up but one Glaceon, and... Not much I could do about it now. Um, I mean, we can attach it. And see, there's nothing we can really play. We have not drawn any EVs, really. And uh, we can Cyrus here. But they would pick up the Lele and the Mew, maybe. Which doesn't help us too much. It's Cyrus is better when they have like nothing. I guess what we're gonna do here is N. I know it gives us less, but I wanna N because it gets them down to one and wow. Wow, did we kinda get screwed with that too? So we're gonna Ultra Ball. Get rid of uh water energy. And uh, Ultra Ball. So grab that Eevee. Just so we're not like dead in the water here. And then we Slush Rush. Okay. And Smash Turn. Which we're done anyway. <laughs> We took out the buzz hole. There's our Tapu Fini. See, that, that's... Right there is exactly when Tapu Fini could just come in, drop a water energy, GX attack, get that buzz hole or Zygarde out of here, and slow down the game in order to be able to get the Glaceon set up and stuff. Um, it's kind of a disappointing loss, especially since I wanted to like show off the deck and like how good it was doing for me. But, uh, it is what it is. I'll give this person the win, though. They don't really need to do anything but attack here, but they want to show off everything they can do first. If they're getting angry, and I'll just say, well played, good deck, you know. Like I said, unfortunate. Um... Yep, they are not even sharing a deck. They're mean. But, you know, I'm kind of surprised, I guess, because, I, I don't know, it does well. It does well against that deck, too. It's nothing that deck had that it really didn't do well. But, like, playing it, I played it about five times. I wanted to play it ten, but I was only able to get through five games. But it was winning, you know, one three out of the five times. So I thought it was pretty good. So, you guys, one last look at the deck one more time. Of course, you can make, make changes you want. Uh... But it, it pretty much draws dead if you don't really have the right things. I, I mean, I'm trying Alone Sand Slash, and I like Alone Sand Slash, but sometimes it just needs different cards. But oh, that's why there's so many draw supporters in here. That's 90, like, majority of the deck, there's 10 draw supporters out of a 60-card deck. So that's one-sixth 
That's a lot. Uh, a lot of draw support. Like I said, Ultra Ball kind of hurts sometimes. Uh, but thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I will bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.